guys Dev here and I really apologize for the lack of the adventure quest video last week and that is because I was still busy with my Chinese New Year visiting uh, been visiting some relatives anyways I finally got the two 12,000 Zack token packages uh, got the Arctic Tornado and the Creation Burst and of course um, I got myself the gift boxes and got the Giant Butcherer I also uh, managed to get the Polala spell okay the uh, core Polala or Summon Polala whatever you call it so now I actually can uh, use the dual pose uh, mage setup so yeah very very nice and you can see here my spells the three stronger spells in the game covering six elements and then we have the water spell and the uh, energy spell of course and then we have siphon to help with healing purple rain and of course summon polala right and here we have it nope not armors uh, weapons here we have the giant butcherer which of course is the strongest earth weapon in the game aside from giant killer and today we actually have quite a lot to cover so i'm gonna jump into it right now so first of all I'm gonna jump into the truth ma war when powers collide and uh, we're just gonna look through this cutscene really quickly not gonna read the dialogue just gonna see if there's any fancy animations you guys can actually follow up on the dialogue if you like and i believe this is actually the final part of the truth mask saga so if we have another war and i don't really follow this uh, storyline too closely so yeah and here we have briha a recurring character and let's take a look at what happens at 25 percent right blah 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 here we have yukara vox and 50 percent okay so the war is currently at 74 percent okay one more percent before i reach the 75 percent cutscene and let us battle one wave and let's see what monsters we have so here we have oppress okay so we wanna get a good earth armor okay so armor earth armor i'm gonna use my tribal shaman and we want a good wind weapon right wind gonna stick with tamer for pets uh we can just stick with fairy godmother Oh, and before I forget, shield, obviously you wanna use a good earth shield that I will use, uh, tectonic. And let's begin. Alright, let's see what day it is today, and it is Minotaur day, okay, very nice, just the one that I want. And I'm gonna test out, no, not it. Yeah, I'm gonna test out the Arctic Tornado spell right now. And this is actually my first time using it. So very very powerful, 2 hits already 900 damage and they weren't even lucky strikes. So yeah, very nice. And here we have one more time. Alright, totally obliterated that monster and moving on we have bought buzzer. So we're gonna switch into our wind armor now. Uh, so there will be Tyranno Chicken, Rex Rider, Shields, you wanna use our... <coughs> Uh, what what's our wind shield? I can't really remember. Fujin, right? And now we can. Uh, you guys can finally experience it firsthand. The giant butcher, and this is when it's triggered, cause the monster actually has strength. And oh, that's a pretty strong poison. Okay. You know what? Let's see how much damage this thing can do. And I'm gonna use Chieftain's Iron Pawn. And let's go. Right, one hit deals 570 damage. That is really a lot. And keep in mind, this is a fully offensive armor, so uh, easily over 2,000 damage. That is very, very good. And we should be able to finish off this monster right now. Yep. Um, despite only 2 hits connecting, that was over 1.3k in damage. So very nice. Absolutely love the Giant Butcherer. So washed out Wolverine, right? Looks like we have to use our Tribal Shaman again. And win, right? One more to do it. Nope, uh, still need one more time. 
And you know what, for this we are just gonna use our normal attack and that should kill it. Dao Ramlion, okay this should be the last one. Water, okay right. It's energy, so use this. Alright, one more hit out to do it and this should be the last monster before we finish this one wave so there are basic um, monsters that you can usually find in the forest but uh, of course they, you can see some truth mind influence over them uh, all of them are pretty dull brown color so yeah now moving on the next one uh, more true first more troubles i believe this is the snuggle fest 2017 quest so let's see here we have aria Right, so lots of text dialogue here, so I'm gonna skip through everything here. Alright, assuming we don't miss this next hit should finish off the trouble. Right, okay. And here we have another one. Ooh, this is gonna hurt. Right. Wow, again? Okay. One HP. We have the fly tail and we should use energy, right? Not dealing a lot of damage as you can see, only 43% despite using a Hydromancer Blood Mage. Right, and this monster has extremely high blocking as you can see, 82. And I'm gonna stop with the spells and save it for the next monster. Wow, okay. Now 
just to make sure we kill it in the next turn hopefully I'm gonna use my energy pad oh okay never mind power word die okay right Here we have another one. Can we get power word die to activate again? Let's see. Okay, that did much better. So all of the three hits connected. And we need them to connect one more time. Hopefully picks up power. Two of the hits connected, still pretty good. One more hit ought to kill the monster, hopefully. Assuming I don't miss this. Okay. Right, so after four monsters here, we have Robina, and she seems to be injured or something, and here is a Demon cat, right? Using light or water? I believe now would be a really good time to show off that creation burst spell, which I'm sure you guys have been wanting to see. So let's go. And I know I'm pretty late on showcasing the two spells, but yeah, better late than never. Here we have the first time using creation burst. Let's see how it does. Wow, that is epic. And of course, two of the hits missed. Now, this monster doesn't have particularly high blocking. 59 only, not too... Not too high, I would say, but let us try that again. Much better, 1,800 damage, very nice. And you know what, let us just do that again. Okay, again, only one hit, connected. See, you can kill in one turn. Yup. Okay, very nice. That's done. Okay, we have another one. This one is level 152, okay. Wind, right, so one fixed the wind armor. Wait, why is he doing oh okay? I thought he only did darkness damage after you damage. After he goes below half health or something like that. Right, let us try that again. Oh, okay. Forgot to change back to Legendary Shadow Crystal instead. Yeah, there it is. <coughs> so now you can use your light weapon to damage him as well, which I will do that because my uh, Kingdom Breaker has a higher base damage, so I'm gonna use that. Alright, I believe this is the boss fight. What? What in the world? What in the world? What? Okay, right now I'm actually figuring out how am I gonna beat this guy. So, Cause it looks like the, the moment I press start battle, I'm probably never going to get a turn. He has celerity for over 9,000 rounds. What the hell? 
what in the hell oh okay wait it gets one extra turn time uh turn per round but it doesn't mean that it will keep on attacking without giving you a chance to attack phew for a moment i almost i almost thought it was dead okay anyways this guy is doing heck a lot of damage so i'm gonna have to finish him off quickly and he gets to attack twice per round so that essentially doubles his damage so you can see he did 300 damage there with that lucky strike and he's doing about 200 plus damage per turn without a lucky strike so uh, multiply that by 2, he can deal about 400 damage per turn even at 16% energy resistance. So it really must uh, kill this guy quickly and thankfully he doesn't have a lot of HP so it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is nuke him with your spells or whatever armor skills you have and that should be the end of the battle. His blocking is decent at 64 but uh, still nothing we really can't handle and that was about it. Room 42, and here we have another Trufo. Now, I could go into uh, Hydromancer Blood Mage and make this uh, much faster, but I don't want to take the risk because this guy is willing doing a lot of damage each turn even at 16% energy resist and you'll probably just kill me before I can kill him one more cast out to do it alright come on ok that's done and here is Hans, right. Hmm. Wait, did Hans and Arya, were they in the same room? Hmm. Wonder what's going on here. Okay, I didn't really read the dialogue. That's why I'm assuming you guys can uh, rewind the video to go back and watch. But I thought Arctic Entertainment was Adventure Quest was sort of a kid's game. Okay, never mind. Let us not dive too much into that. Uh, anyways, looking at the rewards, it's a stupid spoon, and uh, it's horrible crap. So I will not advise buying that. Anyway, look, looking at the pet's trufo, um, melee damage, uh, maybe a bit inaccurate, but it attacks quickly and can charm a foe into letting it get a few extra attacks in. So it looks like the pet itself has a extra chance of celerity. Um, something which we haven't really seen for pets so i'm gonna get this pet looks pretty special 12 million gold i'm not sure if that's a mastercraft price but uh yeah i'll recommend you to get the pet if you don't have it and truthful fur hmm. guardian only looks like it might give you celerity so i'm gonna buy this but uh, i don't think i'll be showcasing it in this video so uh looking at the next one snuggle fest let's see if there's anything here for us okay so the only new one is uh, true force and troubles and i hope you guys have enjoyed this video if you have be sure to give it a thumbs up and of course happy valentine's day to everyone who's enjoying their day out there while i am still single and making videos for you guys here so Hope you guys have enjoyed, uh, be sure to give me a thumbs up, share this video to your friends and family who play Adventure Quest. Until the next time, this has been Dev04066, peace out.